just so you know a little bit about you know unauthorized downloading and its effects again like i said these numbers are created by the ifpi or the riaa to make these industries look like they're being victimized by you for torrenting for pirating for not paying for music for making copies for friends so um just to give you a sense of what the industry looks like the industry has um you know taken quite a hit since the 2000s where it was at like 21 billion dollars um globally in terms of revenues um, but it's finally gotten back up to globally 19.1 billion dollars so it went down to like 12 billion uh, so they took a pretty big hit the industry did but it keeps going up uh, it's been going up consistently a few billion one or two billion a year um, as the recording industry figures out how to monetize streaming <coughs> um but the United States market in 2019 was worth 11.1 billion, uh, which is you know way better, almost three times as strong as it was in 2012, where it was four and a half billion. So, again, 2012 was an interesting time because you know Pandora was out. There wasn't a lot of like people didn't really know how to monetize sound recordings, and again, like a lot of people bitch and complain about um, what they're being paid for. Um, with you know streams i mean the streaming royalties are crap you know they're quite they're quite low compared to record sales you know and there's a big difference between what you were getting paid for that and what you're getting paid for streaming the streaming percentages are quite quite low okay but this united states market of this 11.1 .1 billion dollars you know essentially you know eight and a half billion of that is streaming royalties so there's not a lot of billions being actually sold at, you know, at record stores to people. Um, the industry claims there's a 95% piracy rate, which basically means that uh, out of all of the music that's consumed, only 5% of it's paid for. Who knows how accurate or true that is, but that's the suggestion. Um, who knows like but they come up with these pretty crazy numbers to you know if 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 you paid for all the music right which we're paying 19.1 billion dollars for so whatever 95 you know if we were paying for the additional 95 percent that would be like i can't even do math like that but that's a shitload of fucking money that never existed in the recording industry, even at like its highest at, at its highest moments with like inflation in mind. Okay. The important thing to note, though, is that there's a big difference between theft and uh, you know uh, theft and loss in value. So again, theft is you go to a record store, you put a record in your back pocket. The record label is not able to monetize that necessarily because no one can buy that that record loss in value is when you torrent something it's, you know like you don't take the original right when you or you don't take an actual copy you don't actually take money from them in the sense of you go into a record store and steal the record here you're basically pirating the potential value so when they come up with a 95 percent piracy rate means that basically you know, 95% of what you consume is unauthorized, you know, and um, that you've pirated the value of 95% of, of the stuff that you've consumed. So if you were to pay for that, you know, you would have paid for uh, 10,000, you would have spent $10,000 on music la last year. Let's say that was your budget. <laughs> You know, you would have actually, you know, you would have actually spent a full ten grand on that instead of just five hundred dollars and pirating the ninety five hundred dollars. Now this is misleading because, as y'all know, most of the stuff that you you listen to and consume, if you were asked to buy it, you probably wouldn't. You also wouldn't go to a record store and steal, now would you? Right. So I mean, that's just one thing. Like when they come up with these ridiculous numbers, it's because. They're calculating a loss in value versus actual theft. They just say every time you torrent something, that's a theft. That's you not going to the movie theater. That's you uh, sneaking into a movie theater. That's you stealing uh, a CD or, or whatever.
Okay. Um, and how do they make up for this money? You know, the, the recording industries come up with, with what are called 360 contracts, where they, they, it means they essentially, instead of just making money off of your record sales, they now make money off of everything 360. So your, your tours, your merchandise sales, they get a little bit of your sync money, your streaming money, your publishing money. So they get some of your songwriting uh, monies. They get money, um, say if you get like a, a sneaker deal or a perfume or, or a beverage deal or you start doing commercials or whatever, they'll get a percentage of that. So they get a percentage of you at every level of your artistry versus before just at the recording, uh, you know, the recording level of that, okay? Um, the interesting thing is that, you know, uh, while overall revenues are down, there's a lot more money to be made off of digital recordings because, I mean, there's way less investment in manufacture, distribution, uh, taxes on, on product, on inventory, all, all that stuff. So overall, the numbers are a little bit down, but the profit margins are much higher. There's no money that goes into uh, promoting stuff on Twitter. Very little, okay, very little money versus like street teams who are hanging posters and print, then you have to print the posters, uh, you know, uh, et cetera. So, I mean, I think, I think like, you know, while overall revenues are down, you make way more money off of digital distribution of music if you can figure out how to do it. Okay, so again, in South Park, we learned that celebrities are doomed to a life of only semi-luxury because of you pirating uh, their, their music. And again, it's important to know that these are the recording artists who make the most money, who sell the most records, who care the most. Most recording artists never, ever recoup. It's so rare. Like. Actually, Eminem, I've heard, has never recouped on an album sale, like on, on, on an album. So like he's made all these albums, only a couple of them good, uh, but he's spent a shitload of money to make them, to make the music videos, for the beats, for everything, you know, for the studio time, whatever. He's paid a shit ton of money, he's, and he's sold a ton of records, but he never sold enough to recoup, but he made his money you know, through publishing. He made his money through touring. He made his money through merchandise sales. Uh, etc. 